welcome, welcome to the Spectrum of Song Show with Carrie William White, which is me, the host of this exciting one hour show featuring my original song stories and insights. Everything from progressive rock to instrumental and classical, a celebration of creative artistry over time. Music we can love forever. And you know we can love forever. All right, well, greetings and welcome to episode number two of Spectrum of Songs. Now, I uh, started out this show last week with some background and history, um, and I will continue with some of that as we go throughout the show today, for sure. But uh, right now, we're going to just jump in and all around the vast spectrum of musical expressions that I've just been so blessed to experience, explore, and share. The first song uh, we'll be hearing is uh, one written and recorded just a few years ago, but demonstrates a blues rock influence that has been around for well over a century. My main inspirations in that genre include Stevie Ray Vaughan, B.B. King, ZZ Top, and Eric Clapton. And you can probably hear a sprinkling of their voices in this wonderful song, Keep Your Soul, with Dennis Johnson featured as the uh, guitar soloist and bassist, yours truly, composer of vocals, guitars, and keyboards. Here we go. Keep Your Soul.
you know, this song, more than just a mere blues song, it became an anthem of sorts to me. Um, for taking good care and having respect for one's own life, gifts, talents, abilities, as well as honoring your flaws and weaknesses and even shortcomings. Uh, we all have plenty of and a great variety of all those things that make up our humanness. You know, we all face adversaries, adver adversities, uh, weaknesses, uh, obstacles, uh, vavaricities, uh, aplenty. But in the sum of all things, we have to take good care of ourselves and those in our immediate reach and uh, relation. And so that's uh, why I really love that song. Besides that, it's a lot of fun to play. Um, the next song we will share was uh, written in the early 2000s. Now, by this time, I'd gone through so many experiences in my middle adulthood from getting my bachelor's in the late 80s and in music and then a, a master's in education, becoming a public school music teacher, and then getting interested in computers and becoming a computer programmer and um, being able to do all these different, play in um, a great dance band, D. Anderson and Primetime, uh, allowed me to be uh, an amazing guitar soloist because I was the only guitarist. And... Uh, um, then you coupled all that with a big, uh, earth-changing, turn-my-world-upside-down experience in early 2000. Well, actually, it was towards the end of 2000. I'd come home one night, and the whole household was asleep, and um, I just sat in the chair in the dark and discovered for the first time in my life a silence that had enveloped my soul. I didn't have to think about anything. I could just enjoy my breathing and enjoy the feeling of my body and, you know, even perceive the stars uh, above my roof and, and just feel my soul expand. And this just turned my world upside down. Uh, and it turned my songwriting into a, a frenzy. Over the next five years after discovering silence, I probably penned 30 uh, original song compositions. I wrote my first uh, science fiction novel. Portal Through the Sun, available on Amazon, Carrie William White. Uh, I wrote several other inspirational books and um, had really started jumping into doing some serious recording during those years as well. Um, but the main thing that happened to me is I had a, my world turned upside down on me. I, everything I thought was real and important, you know, having a job and a career and a 401k and working for your retirement and, you know, all that just all of a sudden didn't seem to be uh, necessarily what my path should be from this point on. In other words, I'd gotten the education, I'd gotten the skills, I was a great provider for my family. And now that my kids were almost grown, I realized I had neglected my art and my music for the most part. And now I wanted to really focus in on those. So I uh, really made a lot of life changes during that time. And uh, maybe some other time we'll get into the story as to what those adventures that happened during those years. But this song, this next song we're going to do, Now I Can Breathe, uh, was a, like a, a mantra. Uh, it was like an anthem for me uh, because I discovered how important it was to just be quiet once in a while. Anyway, here we go. Now I can breathe. <laughs> Control started digging round me. Every neck deal I couldn't keep my head above the ground, and that you turned me around. And now I can breathe. 
just love the dramatic um, ending on that song. Uh, symbols dying out slowly to a fade. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to shift gears right now um, because this next song is one of the very first classical songs I started working on before I even really knew how to read notes. I had a friend showing me these parts and and then I uh, gradually started figuring out the notes, and I think that had a huge influence with me wanting to get my degree in music. Um, this next one is called Prelude in E minor. It happens to be my mother's very favorite classical song that I do by Hitor Vilo Lobos. Uh, he lived from uh, 1887 to 1959 and was a Brazilian composer, conductor, cellist, and classical guitarist. And he's been described as the single most significant creative figure in the 20th century Brazilian art music. Hey, I guess intrinsically, my mom knew greatness, huh? Well, uh, this song is drama at its best. It's sad, contemplative, yet joyful, playful, and uh, uh, ridiculous simultaneously. Um, I think that's why it has such an appeal to me personally. But I also want to share it with you because... So much of the classical music I began studying in the uh, mid-1980s and 1990s um, had a huge influence on my songwriting and my composition. So here we go with uh, Ville Lobos' Prelude in E minor. Thank you. 
Isn't she lovely? Prelude E minor. Ville Lobos. Yeah, so now we're going to uh, go way back. We're talking mid-1980s again. And actually, it's a little earlier than that even. Uh, 1981, 82, I just graduated from Christ for the Nations down in Dallas, Texas with an associate's in theology. And... Um, I'd been uh, listening to a lot of the Christian music that was just getting birthed during this time. I think I mentioned last week how um, Second Chapter of Acts, Phil Keggy, Keith Green, very influential during this uh, early 80s. Um, and this song just came to me out of nowhere. I'd been playing quite a bit of piano. I was staying with a friend who owned a piano, so I was uh, doing things on the piano. And I'd only written maybe about four songs before I wrote this one. So this is uh, in the earliest of the canon of Carrie William White. And um, I really, really like this song still to this day, even though it's, what, 40 years old practically, um, because of it reminds me of the state of mind I was in back then when I was like 26, 20, 23, something like that. Very young. And, um, and I, I think it's a well-arranged song, uh, but we'll let you be the judge of that. Hope you enjoy. It's called Straight as a Arrow.
with your word and your spirit I know I'll find your way Every day Straight as an arrow Headed straight for you The straight and the narrow Will take me straight to you All of my time Belongs to you, Lord very life is a gift from you to serve in my king and have everything help me give my heart back to you straight as an arrow hope you enjoyed that um straight as an arrow uh written in about 1982 83 um so this next song we're going to listen to is actually a reprise um, of uh, psalm 34 which is a, a song we're going to play in the second half of the hour uh, we're going to play the, the actual song this is actually a reprise so it's just an inter instrumental soloist uh, very short but it's got some great guitar work by myself and uh, Dennis Johnson and uh, I'd like to share that with you before we take a little break from our sponsor and uh, move into the second half of the show here you go um, Psalm 34 reprise Psalm 34, Psalm Reprise. Um, now, for some of you young folks, you may not know what a reprise is, but uh, hey, back in the, the 70s where we were getting some of the coolest album jackets as well as bands and, and albums just, just coming out in the multitudes, I think it was one of the most prolific decades of original um, music I've ever experienced. Uh, 
heck, heck of a lot of creativity going on there. Well, a lot of these bands would do a reprise like that. They'd do a, the full version of the song somewhere in the side one or side A or side B. And then usually towards the end of the album, they would do a reprise of that song, meaning just an instrumental version of it uh, or just a kind of a jam session that spins off. We don't see a lot of that anymore these days, but um, I wanted you to have a sample of that. All right, now, folks, it's time for us to take a break and uh, hear a word from our sponsor, The Complete Guitar Essentials. Have you been dreaming of picking up the guitar and learning to play awesome music, but have not found the tools to help you learn and develop? Well, I have the perfect solution for you. The Complete Guitar Essentials Book by yours truly, Carrie William White, can make your guitar dreams and aspirations come to life. This comprehensive study will take you from the essential basics of chords, finger picking patterns, strum patterns, all the way to intermediate guitar and rock, folk, as well as classical and being able to read and learn from tablature. It will teach you music fundamentals, how to read notes, how to play lead guitar, and advanced rhythm and finger picking patterns. It comes complete with clear illustrations, comprehensive explanations, and practice exercises. Buy your copy today for only $14.95 at Amazon.com. Just search for Complete Guitar Essentials by Kerry William White. Or you can access the Kindle version instantly for only $4.99. Welcome, welcome to the Spectrum of Song Show with Carrie William White, which is me, the host of this exciting one hour show featuring my original song stories and insights. Everything from progressive rock to instrumental and classical, a celebration of creative artistry over time. Music we can love forever. And you know we can love forever. Welcome back to the second half of Spectrums of Songs with Carrie William White. I mentioned before the break uh, all the ways that you can access my music and I want to remind you again uh, both my albums, Electric Honey, the rock albums that is, and Summer's End, uh, and as well as my classical album, Carrie William White, live at the Morrison Center, uh, can all be found at CarrieWilliam.com. That's C-A-R-Y-W-I-L-L-I-M. Dot com, as well as in Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, and Pandora. We're going to kick off the second half of our show with one of my latest songs, written just a few years ago, uh, written in the middle months of our global p pandemic, and features also a live video of me performing that song as well, uh, found on my YouTube channel. Uh, it's the song Right. And uh, you, you can just go in there and do a search for the song, right? T-H-E-S-O-N-G-W-R-I-G-H-T. Or type in Carrie William White. And uh, look for the song title, Awaken Together. If you want to watch the uh, YouTube version of this song. Uh, now, this uh, recording, this ballad was a, a blast to compose and record. Especially since I was feeling so strongly about um, all of us taking advantage of this pandemic to slow down. Uh, do you remember uh, that first few months of the pandemic in 2020 when you'd step outside at 10 a.m. in the morning during the week and there'd be no sound? Nobody was on the road driving. I didn't even see anybody out walking their dog. It was just almost science fiction-like. Uh, but it made the impression on me, what would life be like if we lived a much more calm, uh, peaceful, meditative life rather than running around and always looking at our phone or watching a video or reading something or you know going to this you know we, we're just very busy people we americans and so um my hope is that we would actually heal the world and, and actually get more in harmony with her if we'd slow down if we'd go inside ourselves and learn to find peace and joy without having to be always distracted by outside things, activities, news, entertainment. Anyway, on with the song. I hope you enjoy. Awaken Together. Wow. 
Walk through life never knowing it's a dream What we feel can see Seems so real But we open our eyes Listening to the vibration of life Here I am waking up again, my friend Everyone I see is such a dear friend Take your hand in mine What's inside the sign? Feel so fine and right of mind Amazing is life when there is no time Want the world to wake Step up the light in this crucial time We are now living One of us bringing life to you and all things. We need to open our eyes and see just what's inside. The shining sun is in each one now. You can do it, just believe. Open your heart and receive Let your body and mind really unwind What's inside? The shining sun is in each one now. The shining sun is in each one of us now. I love that line because that is what I believe. God, through Jesus, gave his spirit and his life for and to each and every one of us. All of us. We just have to be still and open and receiving to his presence and the revelation. 
Uh, well, well, remember to check out all of the music videos I have on my Songwrite YouTube channel. I've got uh, around 80 of them so far, uh, so there's lots of content out there to explore. All right, next up is one of my favorite blues rock creations, By Fire. I really like how this tune evolved, especially um, some of the lead and rhythm guitar work. Uh, see if you can hear some of Pink Floyd's David Gilmour's influence in uh, the lead guitar work in this song. All right. Well, here we go. By Fire. <laughs> Survive. 
We got to do it as one. I believe my brother has, my brother has. We got to make it one try. Keep a good foot by. to you what you see well believe that the power of our mind perception and focus is pure energy that attracts or repels accordingly in fact as my girlfriend reminded me just last night there may be some karmic principles at work in this physical dimension but since the universe is really just energy manifesting on multiple dimensions of time and space we really can recreate ourselves anew, our world anew, our reality brand new at any time. Just like Jesus said, he makes all things new. <laughs> well, to remain as children, to remain open, free-spirited, and very creative, original creators, we must keep our heart, mind, soul clean. We must retain the spark of innocence and purity that allows us, like our youthful self, to be excellent conductors of the energies of life. This next song takes us back to the early 1990s when I wrote it, reflecting my uh, discouragement with organized religions and preachers back then. It all just seemed dry and lifeless, and very repetitive, not very creative and definitely not very open-minded or inclusive. This song addresses that um, still true reality of religion, uh, wait, from my point of view, but uh, with a prayer. This song has a prayer that to have our hearts cleaned so that we can be aligned with the King of Hearts. So uh, this next song is called Father's Vine. I think it's one of the prettiest I've ever written. In fact, I, I think it was so lovely. Uh, my ex-wife thought so because she couldn't believe that I wrote it. <laughs> so in a way, that's one of the highest compliments, I guess, you can get as a musician. Um, anyway, Father's Vine. <laughs> Not just 
just when it's easy When the sun shines Consecrating all that we do Across the self just living for you From this world's weeds and cares Come separate the wheat from the tear My command is that you love one another As I have loved you By this is my Father glorified That you may hear much Spotless my robe can be Washed in the blood of Calvary The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy and peace A love for each other should never cease Oh, Savior divine Come prune your Father's mind from this world's sweets and cares Come separate the wheat from the tears Fine song. Whew. You know, great guitar work, diverse melody and lyric, encouraging message. Um, one of my favorite. Well, I want to share another of the great classical guitar works in my repertoire. This time, one by Anton Diabelli, the minuet from his Sonata in A. Now, Antonio Diabelli, an Austrian composer who lived 1781 through 1858, wrote some very difficult and intriguing music for guitar. I know, because I, I learned his whole uh, Sonata in A, which also includes a second movement. But uh, I am so pleased to share this with you, uh, the minuet from... Antonio, Antonio Diabelli's uh, Sonata in E. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. Well, I got I got to tell you, out of all the classical I did through the years, and, and that one especially in, in live performance, comes about as close to a rock uh, instrumental uh, as I did, even though it's uh, probably 130 years old, 120 years old. Um, Anton de Belli, Sonata in A, the minuet from that, that uh, work. All right, now, uh, if you remember, closing out the first half of our show, we heard a psalm reprise, which I told you was an extended section of the main song from the Electric Honey album called Psalm 34. Well, we're going to hear that song next, uh, but first, I want to give you a little background. Um, I wrote it while I was living homeless on the island of Maui. Hawaii, sleeping on beaches, uh, eating at shelters, and enjoying free breakfast from all the star fruit, mango, and papaya trees that were sprinkled just about everywhere. One night, feeling just a bit discouraged by the Christians running the shelter I was in, I opened my Bible to Psalm 34, and I just started making a song out of it. I don't know why. It just felt good, felt right. Well, 30 minutes later, it was complete. And the song became my anthem for the rest of my stay there until I returned to Idaho a month or so later. So, please, enjoy Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all, all time. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. So shall make her bubbles in the Lord The humbles are here and rejoice Who oh, magnify the Lord in me Let us exalt His name together I sought the Lord and He heard me And delivered me from all my fear They look unto Him and are lighting And their faces not ashamed and This poor man cried From all of my troubles The angel of the Lord And can't be round by them Hear him and deliver him Oh, taste and see that this love is good Blessed is the one that trusts in Exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fear. All right, well. Thank you for sharing this hour of song with me, everyone. I look forward to doing it again next week, same time. Uh, lots of music to share with you. Until then, ride easy in the saddle and keep your love going.